We had a real crisis at MIT, which led to the creation of the MIT Free Speech Alliance, and that was the disinvitation of Professor Dorian Abbott, one of the world's leading geophysicists. He was disinvited from giving a lecture about geophysics uh, because of his views on a completely unrelated subject, namely DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. I can't think of a more egregious departure from free speech and expression in recent years. Well, that led to such an uproar of alumni and also in the press. I can't remember the last time the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal agreed on anything, uh, but they both agreed MIT had made a mistake by uh, disinviting Professor Abbott. Alumni came together and formed the MIT Free Speech Alliance, and it came together and grew very quickly. Uh, it's only a year old. Within six or 12 months, six or eight months, they had over 700 members. I'm guessing there may be 800 members now. President Reif, Raphael Reif, uh, as a result of this uh, uproar, appointed a free expression working group to uh, determine what MIT's uh, policy on free speech and expression should be, and that led to the report, uh, which was just published and is available online, which includes, among other uh, great content, uh, MIT's support for the Chicago Principles. So I would say to those at other universities, don't let a crisis go to waste. If you have a similar egregious departure from free speech and expression at your campus, uh, use that as an opportunity to uh, express your concerns. Let it be known that that's not acceptable. And uh, perhaps uh, ask or demand that your university, as a first baby step, support the Chicago principles.